This video is about the stomach. The stomach starts where the esophagus enters here and it ends at the pyloric sphincter which goes into the duodenum. We have different regions. Where the esophagus enters is the cardiac region. This region here is the fundus. Then we have the body and the pyloric region. The stomach also has two curvatures. We have the greater curvature running along the base and the lesser curvature running along the top. Now let's take a look inside the stomach. Here we can see the rugal folds which allow the stomach to expand. And we can also see the two sphincters. We have the lower esophageal sphincter where the esophagus enters and we have the pyloric sphincter where the stomach empties into the duodenum. We have stratified squamous tissue in the esophagus that very abruptly changes to simple columnar when it enters the stomach and it remains simple columnar throughout the rest of the digestive system till we get to the anus. Now let's take a closer look at the stomach wall. Taking a closer look at the wall of the stomach, we can see the four layers that make up the digestive tract. The innermost layer is the mucosa, then we have the submucosa, the muscularis, and the outermost layer is the serosa. In the stomach, in the mucosa, we can see we have gastric pits. There are different types of cells here. The parietal cells secrete hydrochloric acid, and the chief cells secrete pepsinogen. The stomach has several ways of protecting itself. There are tight junctions. There is a rapid turnover of cells about every three days. Mucus is secreted and also pepsin is secreted in its inactive form, pepsinogen. If we take a look at the muscularis, throughout the digestive tract there are two layers of smooth muscle. There is an outer longitudinal muscle and an inner circular layer. In the stomach, we have an additional third layer, which is the oblique layer.